Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, May 15th goes to Chris DeVoe. Now, if you don't know who Chris DeVoe is, he goes by the name Tugsy on Instagram. And I want everyone out there to know that this Donkey of the Day is being done with love, okay? I actually genuinely feel sorry for this young man, and I feel sorry for other people who are in this man's position who have this man's mind state. Now, Chris DeVoe, he makes his living off Instagram, okay? Mm. He is a social media influencer. And like many people in this era, social media rules everything around them, okay? I really don't understand why people put their livelihoods into social media because you don't own social media. So if social media decided to ban you or cancel your account for whatever reason, you're done out here. Not to mention social media is creating this unattainable, unreachable uh, goal of physical perfection that simply does not exist, all right? Social media is everybody's highlight reel. And you are comparing your real everyday life to the carefully cultivated and filtered world of social media, okay? Drop one of my uh, clues bombs from my man, Pastor Stephen Furtick. He has a great sermon on that, by the way. Uh, Moss Corner Zone. But that doesn't stop people like Chris DeVoe from trying to chase the unattainable, okay? Let's go to WCAX CBS3 for the report, please. Selfie culture is putting pressure on beauty standards. And according to plastic surgeons, it's driving many young people to seek cosmetic procedures. With almost half a million followers, Kyrie's DeVoe makes his living through Instagram. We all want to have smooth skin. We all want to have, you know, high cheekbones. We all want to have, like, frozen faces. We just want to look perfect. Kyrie spends at least an hour editing each selfie. I want to be a brat doll. I want to be a living brat doll. Why do you want to look less mm. human? Um, because adults perfect. I just want to look like oh. selfie ready all the time. Kyrie's even gets regular cosmetic procedures done to look more like his edited selfies. Leading plastic surgeon Dr. Dirk Kramer says he's noticed his clientele get younger and younger. Most of them come with a phone, with, with their phone and show me pictures and that's how I get most likes and most followers. Could we do that in reality? Oh. This is sad, man. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I hear you already. Charlemagne, everything is not a mental health issue. You're right. Everything isn't a mental health issue, but some of this is. And this is exactly why I ordered phone cases for my wife and oldest daughter that say social media ruins your mental health because you will never be happy chasing the lies that are being told on social media, okay? You out here living your real life, living in your truth, knowing fully that the world and people in it aren't perfect, but then you go on the gram and see people, you know, everybody given the perception of perfection right all right and, and and you chase that but it's literally like a dog chasing its own tail you will never catch it therefore you would never truly be happy and that can lead to body dysmorphia which is indeed a mental health issue but don't listen to me let's hear from the experts back to wcax cbs3 for the report please this obsession with personal appearance that selfie culture encourages may have darker implications for mental health in those people who have that psychological vulnerability, it can be particularly concerning. They are constantly bombarded with their image and constantly referencing their own image in a way that was not seen before. At its most <coughs> extreme, this fixation on appearance can manifest in a mental health condition known as body dysmorphic disorder, mm. or BDD. <sighs> Ego, vanity, and validation is going to be the death of this era. Okay, how can you tell, you know, kids that their first, last, and best love is self-love when they're being born into a culture that makes you feel like your worth, your value, how you think of yourself, how you love yourself is in the hands of others. I don't care how many likes you get. Do you like yourself? That's what's important. When you depend on people to build you up, they'll have the same power to break you down. You don't need anybody on social media's validation to know your worth. How do we get these kids to not have psychological vulnerability and build up their confidence, okay? True confidence is knowing that you are enough without the need for anyone else's validation. How do you get that through the kids in 2019 when everything is about constant validation. Chris DeVoe, my brother, stop while you are ahead. Okay, anybody out there that can hear my voice who thinks they have to make permanent plastic surgery decisions based off temporary social media feelings, stop, all right? You can't live in illusion, all right? Focus on things that matter, like your spirit, your personality. If the world was blind, how many people would you impress, all right? Spending all this money to impress people that don't like you anyway? Come on, man. Here's the moral of the story. Stop trying to impress people. Boy. Stop trying to impress people by being something you're not. All right. At the end, you have a bunch of followers who don't really care about you, and you will lose yourself. That's what's happening in these situations. Christopher, love yours. The life you save may be your own. Please give Christopher the biggest hee-haw. <coughs> 
And the crazy thing is I really don't have any solutions to this problem mm -hmm. because I'm really trying to figure out mm -hmm. how do you make a generation of kids realize that their first, last, and best love is self-love when they're born into an era that tells them the only way to receive true love is by getting it from other people. I know he's so young to be getting all those Come fillers on, and getting all those things man. done to himself. Come on, very young, but it's it's difficult because a lot of the celebrities are doing it at young ages, and these kids are following celebrities. And not only the celebrities, they're watching people on social media with all of these filters and these face tunes and all this other stuff. And then they see you in real life. Yes, it's one thing when you got to compete with the celebrity, you can just be like, I just gonna get this money, and then I'm a while out. But now your next door neighbor looking perfect too. Right. <laughs> My God, <laughs> trust me, man. You know you can go from ugly to being handsome. Look at me. Damn, no validation in this room. <laughs> nobody, 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 so nobody, nobody gonna like my tweet. <laughs> Damn. Damn, nobody gonna tell me I'm handsome. Nah, I didn't retweet that, bro. That's crazy. Bro. Nah, nah, nah. I thumbs need, down on that YouTube. I don't need y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. you did become a facing uh, huh? walking Excuse filter. Me? I was about to tell me I'm handsome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What filter would you say he is? The X Pro, maybe the. Filter? Which filter? Yeah, what the which hell is the X Pro? Yeah, I don't know what oh, none no, of those filters. Let me look at these filters. What, fil what, what page you on? Mm, let me look at your filters. Which site is that? <laughs> I would call Man, it. Man, f y'all, I'm handsome. I'll call it the the bitch bleach. You're like the gingham filter. What the hell is that? What is that? You know when you go the on gingham Instagram, filter? gingham. Oh. So if you filter, he turned into the gingham filter. Maybe. I don't even like him. I don't even know damn poor. <laughs> All right. Well, after